The death of the 22-year-old Antoine Hubert robs the motorsport world of a special driver and robs his family and friends of a wonderful and infectious personality. He will be forever missed. Antoine was those rarest of characters, fun-loving and yet also fiercely professional, relaxed and yet utterly determined. He was widely regarded as the fourth musketeer in a group of upcoming young stars, comprising Charles Leclerc, Esteban Ocon and Pierre Gasly, as they all climbed the racing ladder. The other three graduated to Formula One and Hubert had demonstrated that it appeared only a matter of time before he was ready to join them. He died chasing a dream that was born at a young age. Antoine's father had been an enthusiastic rally driver. Indeed, Antoine's first go-kart was bought for him when he was just three. As he grew up, success followed in all forms of motorsport. In karting, taking on the likes of Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc, to cars, where in his teenage years he collected the French Formula 4 championship and race wins in European Formula 3. His breakthrough came in 2018 in GP3, when he stormed to the title. He'd already attracted the attention of Renault, who had signed him to their Young Driver Academy. In his rookie season in Formula 2, he had already won twice, in Monaco, and to his immense joy, on home soil in France. Antoine was happiest at a racetrack and with his family. His death has devastated the entire motorsport community. It robs the world of a humble, vibrant, intelligent and passionate 22-year-old who can never be replaced. He will be deeply missed.